study course for welding. Uh, I'm hoping that you are enjoying uh, the footage so far. Today I'm going to be working on the crud trap procedure again. The, uh, the spool pieces that I've been building. I was here yesterday. It was the first footage that I made in this uh, multiple part home study course and series on different types of welding. Uh, and as I said yesterday, I thought it would be a good idea since I had the material that uh, was already paid for and I've got a project to build anyway, I just thought I'd bring you on board with this project uh, right here in the beginning and then uh, later on I'll talk about uh, into the series that's going to be going uh, into different areas of welding. We'll walk through each type of welding, different stick rods, the MIG procedure and all those things. But today I'm back on the crud trap and this is a, there's two of them I'm building. I built this same uh, application yesterday where I've got my flange on my my flange wheel where I can roll my weld out make it easy I can stand right on top of it I can uh, I can just make it easy on myself I'm not bending down I'm not underneath the pipe getting burnt I'm on top of everything that's the beauty of a rollout wheel and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fit my 90 up after I make my two holes I'm gonna two hole my flange I'm gonna take my level and go just where I can just see the edge of these holes on top of the flange and run my level across there and then level that two hole pattern so that way this flange uh, can bolt up to any other two hole pattern in a field environment, uh, in a factory, I mean uh, in a, a chemical plant, refinery, wherever the case is. Uh, so I'm going to fit my 90 on it, I'm going to get my 90 square and level and plumb to my two hole pattern. I'm going to put four tacks in it and then I'm going to turn the camera on the weld itself so you can see the weld. Today I'm going to try filming the weld from the top where you can actually see as I go down I'm going to be doing all downhill welding today on this. That's about all we do uh, where I live in Wyoming in the oil field and different ones, components that we build. Uh, it's quick, it's easy. Uh, for an uphill welder it takes a little getting used to uh, but it's a good process. Uh, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a, a quick process, that's why they like it. And there are codes that strictly want you to weld downhill. I'm not really welding on any type of code because this is not a, a pressurized uh, component. It's just a, a crud trap. There's no pressure until they release uh, the oil from the wellhead underneath the grounds for a mining outfit. And so I'm going to go ahead and I uh, just wanted to introduce you today to this uh, video presentation. And uh, I'll go ahead and fit all this up and then I'll get back to the camera after everything's fit and then I'll have the camera positioned and then we'll begin welding and I hope today that you'll be able to see the weld a little easier. Yesterday I'm working by myself, I don't have anybody to help me unfortunately uh, swing the camera, keep it in position so I'm just kind of going blind through this and yesterday the welding was pretty good but sometimes I got off where you couldn't really see the puddle uh, and I don't want you to miss out on these things. I want you to get a good present presentation. So today I'm going to try putting the camera on top where you can actually see more of the bevel as I weld and my hand will be out of the way consequently because of that uh, taking a chance burning up my camera but you know it's just what you do to uh, make it happen. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop the film now and then I'll get back with you on the welding aspect.